in Tasmania at the moment. We won't say today because the day is young and you never know what's going to happen. Um, things can change pretty quick down here. Anyway, um, new uh, stamp set for me today. Oh, actually, I'll just check my volume is okay. Make sure that everything's happening. Where are we? Make sure that everything's happening. Nothing's happening. Here we go. Yep, cool. Sounds like everything's fine there. Um, just as you pop on, please uh, tell me, um, say hello. Tell me where you're uh, watching from. It's great to, to see how far afield the streams go, so it's great. Anyway, um, yeah, a bit angry with myself today. I'm using the um, Whiskey Business stamp set, which is one of my favourites. Um, but when I went to open it up, I've lost the stickers that go on the back. And there's still, what, five or six stamps there that I haven't got the stickers for. I know it's got to be in this craft room somewhere, but somewhere could be anything. You know how usually you will say to yourself, well, I'll pop that away. You find something, you say, I'll pop that away and I'll put it away properly soon and, and soon never happens and then you forget where you've popped it so anyway I'm hoping that I'm going to find the little stickers that go with that stamp set because it is one of my favorites and not that I'll be probably selling it but it would be nice to have all those little stick uh, little stamps with stickers on the back of them anyway all good um, so today is a new stamp a new die set actually for me that's just arrived in the craft room in last week's order uh, it's the deckled rectangle dies um, I've been seeing such a lot of beautiful cards using these dies that I thought, no, nope, I definitely have to get it. We've got our stitched rectangles and our stitched shapes and various other rectangles in various other um, die sets, but the actual sort of jagged, ragged edges of these rectangles make them really attractive. Um, so as usual, when I'm playing with a product for the first time, I popped onto Pinterest had a bit of a search around and found a couple of cards that inspired me. So I'm going to do my versions of them here today. That's usually how I do things when I get a new a new stamp set or a new bundle or something. I'll pop in and see what other people have done and, and that inspires me to, to uh, take a leap from them to do something of my own. But um, I'm not a great original thinker. I tend to like to, to leapfrog off others. Anyway, well, leapfrog, that's not the word. What do divers do? Pull vault off others. But anyway, that's right. I tend to take my ideas from others and, and move with them. So this is an, quite unusual masculine card. It's a, It looks pretty cool from the front. But when you actually open it, this little bit here sort of hinges to the right and then the card opens itself to the left like that. So it's pretty cool actually. I, I sort of love making sort of these engineering technical cards as masculine cards because I think it adds a bit of interest to the to the male mind that we um the male mind that we we will give them to I give a card to my mum and she looks at it and then wells up with tears because it says you know love you mum or something on there regardless but you give it to a a gentleman like especially my dad he'd, he'd sort of look at it and go oh yeah okay but so unless it's got something that's a little bit you know a little bit extra, but uh, they sort of uh, appreciate that sort of engineering and construction. Anyway, that's just the men in my life anyway, but uh, probably probably uh, others would feel the same. So anyway, this is the card I'm making. And once you start with these deckled rectangles, you just can't stop. The, the card that I actually am cased or took inspiration from this one used, I think, two of the deckled rectangles. And I've used one, two, three, four, five six of them so yes once you start you just can't stop so yeah, anyway let's see how we've made this one okay so got most of what I need cut here I'll just show you what I've got I've got a basic basic gray card base my normal size card based um five and a half by eight and a quarter scored in the middle so that's my normal basic gray I don't know what colour it looks like on the screen, but anyway. Then I've got, now the, I'll show you the dies. The dies come in various sizes, obviously. And this one here is a, uh, oh, what's this one? It's the next grey down. Might be, I'm just checking my colours, uh, smoky slate. So this is a smoky slate 
deckled rectangle and it's actually the biggest one so it's the very first big one so you can see when I pop that together with my card base that it fits pretty much nicely like that first layer would fit um, um, when you're sort of making a layered card but I really like that sort of as you can see that sort of jagged edge so this one's going to go straight on there but before I add it I'm actually going to pop it through my um, just to give it that extra bit of interest I'm going to pop it through the um, split texture dies which is this one here and I'm naughty because I haven't weeded it um, yes this, this one here just to give it oh I don't know what that was just that fell on the floor but anyway oh it was my brush um, my brush has fallen apart so I'm just going to pop this um, deckled rectangle try saying that a few times fast through the um, grid textured split textured die and that just you get a bit of the darker gray through I've just vacuumed the craft room too I'm gonna have to do it again aren't I oh I've not only have I lost the stickers from my whiskey business stamp set I bought some priority postage stickers during the week as well and do you think I know where they are it's like a whole five dollars worth of stickers that I bought and uh, I can't find them anywhere and I wanted to use them on ladies uh, pa uh, postage today but yeah so I didn't put them where I put my normal stuff so I've been cursing myself readily today uh, not being able to find anything in the craft room and it's at quite quite tidy at the moment it's not at its worst okay so I'm going to pop this um, this deckled rectangle through my die cutting machine with this I'm just going to grab my machine bear with me through my cut and emboss with this um, split textures die I'm a bit scatty at the moment I've been spending the last few days dealing with government departments and state run authorities and banks and things trying to sort some stuff out for my mum since my dad passed but uh, it tends to drain drain your logical brain unfortunately you have to do this before you can do that and that cascades onto that and yeah you, they want that some of them want it, the death certificate signed by a JP some of them want it signed by just a normal sort of public servant so I mean you know how do you know until you actually go so it's all fun and games at the moment so yes I'm a wee bit scatty but anyway we'll pop this through here and the only downside here is that the split texture die is a really tight fit so you have to be careful where you position it because um, it'll go right right up to the very edge of the um, deckled rectangle so I'll just get rid of that but I think it's worth persevering and getting the getting the um, position right because it really adds to the to the interest in the card okay so I'll just weed this as well that's weird that usually comes out first to pop anyway all good I'll just quickly weed it probably should have done this before I came on while I'm weeding I'll have a little look at the comments who have we got on we've got Deb they're all in a safe place yeah Deb I think they're all in the same safe place it must have been me going I'll put that in a safe place and I'll put this in a safe place and now I just don't know where the safe place is so somewhere there's uh, some priority stickers and some stamp backings sitting there all unloved yes yeah, so we're taking our golden retriever to the groomers today it's the first time she's been to well it's probably only the second time she's been professionally groomed um, the first time was last year and the guy took one look at her and um said oh she's got a double coat and basically doubled the quote that what the price he wanted to do for, to groom her doubled it on the spot 
which um, I was pretty shocked about, to be honest. I think if you quote something, you should quote and stick to it. But anyway, so he doubled the price. And in the end, I looked at her and I thought I couldn't even tell that she'd been groomed. So um, we're going to a different groomer this time, just hoping she doesn't disgrace herself and me. She is still very much a bouncy puppy. But anyway, hopefully this one will at least make her look a bit different, maybe a little bit less smelly. Okay, so there we are. We have that one popped through. Um, popped that through anyway, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just seeing Deb, uh, Naomi won a groom. Oh, wow, at the weekend, so that's really good. I wish we were closer. She could groom my ruby. Anyway, although that we don't want to ruin friendships, I think ruby's going to be quite a handful. Okay, so basically I've got my deckled rectangle and I've now put it through the split textured cards. I'm going to grab my glue. And I'm going to attach that to my card front. I'm just going to pop glue on that bit there and then just a very thin line. If I can manage a very thin line today, it may not happen along the edges. Okay, and we'll pop that in the centre. Yeah, so I've had to ask Hubby to stay home because I can't... Ruby's just a bit wild and reckless and she doesn't sit nicely in the back seat of the car so someone has to come in, come with me and hold her lead in the back of the car because it's just a normal sedan while somebody drives or else the driver ends up with a golden retriever in their lap which is very difficult to concentrate so anyway that's all good. Anyway, there we go. So that's the, just the, the basic card. What I might do is grab this one. This is the large deckled rectangle also in white cardstock. And I'm just going to pop this one inside. So this is just my, my inside one for personal message. And I really like, you can see those, the, the lovely rough edges really plainly up against that, um, that darker grey. I think that's really cute. Anyway, so let's do that. Now, the interesting part of this card, it's a fairly normal card up till now, but the interesting part is this lovely sort of mechanism that makes it fold over and be a little bit more interesting. Okay, so what you've got here is a, a piece of black cardstock, which is uh, three and three quarters long, and it's been scored half an inch from the edge, just this little bit here. So what we're actually going to do is pop some glue on the inside of that little tag, pop it on the back back of the card, and then it will reach over the front. So that's basically what it's going to do. So what I'm going to do is try and work out halfway, um, you know, so I can um, sort of have that nice and central. So I'll pop this on my grid. I know that it's five and a half long. Just popping it on my grid. Oh, there's a five and a half there. So halfway would be two and three quarter. Let's so start at five. Two and three quarters, which is there. I'll pop my glue on. Lift my card. Actually, if I had my wits about me, I'd would have slipped it up under that um, that little inside um, thing there. It might be a little bit neater, but anyway, that's okay. Two and three quarters. So the centre is two, three quarters is about there. So we'll bring it back to there. So that's the centre there. So I'm just going to pop that just onto there. Let it glue to the back of the card. So it's going to look a bit like that at the back. No great trauma, it's only little, and then it will flip forward like that. And that's the little hinge that we've got on our card there. So I'll just let that dry a wee bit, just like that. Okay. Oh, and it's moved. I think that's about right. So we might let that dry because that's obviously um, the weak point to this card. So we'll just let that dry and continue on. So more of these deckled rectangles. I've got a black one. So the, this one, I think the, this black one is the, what, I'll get rid of that one, don't want that anymore. 
This black one is, I think it's about the third or fourth largest. It's this one, I think. No, it's the third largest. So it's this one. So that's just in black. And then I've got the next size down one, which would be the fourth largest in white. And this is the one I'm going to pop our, um, our whiskey decanter on. So we'll do that. So I might do the stamping now while I'm waiting for everything to dry. I'm going to grab my black ink and my mega cute whiskey decanter from the set. I'm going to stamp this whiskey decanter straight onto this layer. Sort of slightly, sort of central, as central as I can, but slightly over to the left hand side. So about there. There we are. Love this decanter. I've got a decanter very similar. They're very, what would you say, 80s? Yeah, very 80s. And I think I scored one as a wedding present at one stage because we were married in the 80s. But um, yeah, it sort of really brings back memories of family get togethers and things. Okay, so I'm going to um, um, colour the, the whiskey or whatever it is that's inside this decanter with a couple of blends. I'm going to use light Cajun craze, that's the darker of the two colours, and then I'm going to use dark daffodil delight as the highlights in the middle. So basically all I'm going to do is grab the, the Cajun craze and go around the edges. Sort of the darker parts where the shadows would be. Then I'm going to come back with the Daffodil Delight and sort of give it that golden glow. We used to have cinnamon cider, which was perfect colour for the whiskey in these decanters. And, um, that's retired, sadly, so I had to sort of find a a alternative and I think this is okay okay so we've got that that's there now I'm going to bring in the dark daffodil delight and basically I'm blending it so I'm going to blend the edges so that the two colors merge into each other and then it'll be pure daffodil delight in the middle just to give it that glow Okay, and again on this side. And I'll bring it closer in a minute and you guys will be able to see what I've done. There we are. So there, that's the look I've been going for. So it's sort of dark around the edges and the shadows and then it sort of it looks like the light is sort of glimmering through it. Um, on the towards the center okay so that's that there now what I'm also going to do is to two of the little really nice really cute little um, tumblers that are in the set as well so obviously they've got some ice in there I do have the sticker on that one it's got some ice in there and uh, it's been poured with a, a drink and I'm going to do two of those just on a scrap of basic white <clears throat> and I'm going to copy, colour them in basically the same way. Again with my light Cajun craze. It's one of these really nice stamp sets that actually tells you where the shadows should be as well. So you can basically just take take your um, take your lead from the stamp set itself. I'm going to come back with the yellow.
And the other one. Then I'm going to just fussy cut these ones out. There's no dies that goes with it, to go with this stamp set, sadly. But the shapes are pretty, pretty um, uniform. Not too fussy. Oops. Okay, so that's our two little tumblers Ooh, with our ice. So I'm just going to fussy cut them if I can find a pair of scissors. Don't tell me the scissors are in a safe place as well. No, here's some. And I'll just cut those out. I'm sticking as close to the black to the edges as I can. Usually sometimes when you fussy cut you can leave that little white edge but I actually want them to look, I, don't, I want them to look sort of look like they're sitting in front of the uh, decanter without that white, that white edge. Cool. More trash on the floor. Okay, so I'm bringing back our decanter and I want to pop one glass sort of in front of it there, the other one slightly back and to the right. And that sort of gives it that sort of effect of they're sitting together on a on a bench sort of thing, a bit like that. Just like sitting there. Um yeah, ready to have a drink from. Okay, so we, I'll leave them off for the moment. I'm going to bring in the black speckle, uh, deckled rectangle. I'm going to add our white and I'll see whether our card is dry and we can bring the card base back in. Okay, we've got that there. Uh, we'll bring this back in. So as I say, this little mechanism here that flicks up and then the card opens so we'll pop that there I'm just going to pop a wee bit of glue so I want it to be central so as with the the original card you, you don't really to look at it like that you don't even realize that there's anything special about it so I want it sort of central so I'm going to add some glue just to the this end of our little hinge and then bring back that and line it up with the card itself. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so as I say, hinge opens and then the card opens as well. I've got a little bit of extra glue on there, it's sticking. Oh, and it's moved. Knew it would. Okay. So there we are. So that's on there like that. While that dries, we can bring our little tumblers in. On there. And on there. Actually, I want that one lower and that one higher. That's what I'm going for. There we are. That's better. Here we are. So there's our little drinks there. Okay, so for the sentiment, I've got another speckled, deckled. I'm calling them speckled, aren't I? Deckled. Another deckled rectangle. And it's going to pop just on, just on there. Um, so just coming in from the right-hand side of the card through to sort of just before the decanter there. And I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the left-hand end of it. 
so on the, the left hand end and then I'm going to trim it even with the card on the right hand side so it's a, a straight line. Here we are. It just adds a little bit of interest to it as well. Just moving my glasses a wee bit so they're not in the way. Good. Okay, so um, this is from the sentiment from the stamp set there. Being a dad is whiskey business. That's definitely a dad joke, if anything. Straight up, you're the best. So I might do the same thing for this one. I think I, that's going to fit nicely on that little front bit where I want. Um, and then those other ones would be possible, but because I want it to stay um, off to the left-hand side there. Okay, so let's grab another block. This is one of the ones that's missing a sticker, so I have to put it straight so I can guesstimate where to go. Yeah, I'm going to pop it in there, and as I say, off to the left-hand side because I'm going to trim the right-hand edge off. Just bring it a little bit down so I can get over it. Apologies for that. Here we are. Being a dad is a whiskey business. Pop that on the card there and I'll be able to line up where I'm going to trim it off. I might bring my trimmer in and do that. Now that I've marked where I'm going to trim it off, I'll just bring the trimmer in, line that up, make it straight-ish. It's a bit hard with the decals, the, yeah, the deckled edges. Straight's not quite straight. And I need a new blade. Okay, so this one's going to go on there, grab some dimensionals. that line that up with the edge of the card there and back over to the decanter okay so a final bit would be just some embellishments I'm going to use the classic matte dots the gray ones to be honest they've been a bit neglected I haven't used them on anything but with the gray excuse me this seems to go quite well so I'm just going to grab three of those they, oh, they behave themselves come on this is what you were meant for don't fight your purpose okay so there's a bit of bling on there as well, hardly bling, matte bling. Okay, now open it up. Definitely have to give that a clean, it's got too much glue. Grab the um, the other sentiment, which is missing. I've already taken it out. Oh no, there it is. And a block and my ink. And then this one is done. Been doing lots of masculine cards lately because I've submitted my the lovely ladies of my card making group to a masculine swap and seem to um, struggle so much with um, masculine cards. So we've um, I've been doing lots of them, hopefully to give you a bit of inspiration. But anyway, <laughs> so um, yeah, so there's that one. That I really like that. I like that. I've always loved that stamp set, but I really like that that card as well as I said with that little bit of extra interest for um, for the gentlemen of our lives who may have uh, slightly shorter attention spans and I'm not being not being sexist there I just know that what my lot are like I tend to lose interest pretty quick 
Okay, so I'll just clean these up. Pop them away. I do have one more card to do for you um, with these deckled rectangles. Just one that I've uh, I popped together myself. And this one basically doesn't have, has a stamped sentiment, but I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so it basically just uses the rectangles. And it uses it in an interesting way, which I'll show you, um, which I don't think I've shown you for a while, but anyway, so let's see. So I'm using the textured chic or texture chic um, designer series paper as the highlight for this one. The textured chic suite is the uh, focus of my next product class. So if you're thinking of doing my product class, I thought I'd show you a couple of cards using the, the suite so maybe to inspire you to invest in the class which I'll um, announce properly and put all the pricing up for next uh, next week. Okay so I'm using this is from the designer series paper this beautiful sort of um, gold embossed paper here it's got it's sort of a highlights of um, I think it's uh, it's definitely soft succulent but I'm not sure if there's some other colors in there bear with me for a minute and I'll grab mine and I'll tell you so it'd be definitely soft succulent and there might be some no a uh, pool party so the lighter would be pool party but the darker would be soft succulent so there's some lovely colors there so this is a piece of that designer series paper and as you can see I've popped it through one of the deckled rectangles so it's already been cut then I have, as I say, a soft succulent card base, which is going to be there. Um, then I have the really large one again, and this is in very vanilla. I don't know if you can tell the difference um, to white in this film, but anyway, yes, that's very vanilla. And I've cut that with the largest deckled rectangle, and I've popped it through the time-worn type embossing folder just to give it a bit of interest. And that's going to go right on top of the card base just like that. So we might as well do that now. No ribbon. I might put a little bit of bling on this one, but I'm not putting any ribbon, so I can attach my layers without trauma. The trauma of realising after I've done it that I meant to put the ribbon on, which I've done many times. Okay, so that's the very vanilla. Then I've got this is the Distressed Gold designer series, uh, specialty paper that's also in the suite. So as I say, the suite's really nice, beautiful paper, really nice stamp set and dies, and this beautiful speckled gold or distressed gold specialty paper. It's got gold on one side, it's white on the other, so it's basically just meant to be the gold. So with this one, I've actually cut it. If I bring the... What will I do? I've cut it with the... Oh, don't go there. Cut it with the second from largest deckled rectangle, so it's this one. Popped it through my, popped a piece of the gold through my cut and emboss machine with, with the big deckle to, to create that square. Then popped it through again, just down the edge there, just to cut it again. So actually get the deckled pattern on that side as well so using the, the big die and just a little scrap of the, the distressed gold I've managed to create this sort of long narrow deckled rectangle so you can do that with all your um, your shapes your uh, rectangles especially cut sort of half and then move the die and cut the other half to get sort of more narrow more th more th I don't know if they've ever made them thicker but narrower and um, shorter um, shapes with your with your dies. Okay, so this is just a long skinny piece of the distressed gold. I wouldn't have used a whole sheet of the distressed gold because I'm holding on to them, trying to save it with my life because I need to have enough for the class. Hopefully that lots of you will do the class. And that one's just going to be glued just on the right hand side of our very vanilla one. Okay, so this one with the designer series paper, it's going to pop to the right hand side of the card. So slightly overlapping our 
our gold, but not a lot. So that's going to sit there like that. Very general all occasions card here. Honestly, you could choose whatever designer series paper and colour combination you wanted. Then I've got the another smaller deckled rectangle and I've cut that in very vanilla again and I've also popped that through the designer the um, embossing folder. And it's going to pop again, we're sort of layering this one up, pop to the right hand side again. Just like that. I'm going to pop this one on some dimensionals just to break it up a wee bit. And then I've got the sentiment. There we are. We're layering it up, aren't we? Then I've got the sentiment. So again, I've done that on the smaller, the same as I did with the gold. It's the second from smallest, I think, yes. So I've cut it in the very vanilla. I've cut a piece sort of there, then rotated my die and cut off the edge. So it forms a rectangle, if that a small, much smaller rectangle, if that makes sense. So first cut to cut out a, a large rectangle like that then I've rotated the die because I only knew I knew that I only wanted this size for the particular sentiment and I've cut it again like that to cut the the rectangle in half and keep that wonderful deckled uh, deckled edge and this sentiment is going to just sit slightly off to the side like that sort of central sort of central. So I'm only going to need two dimensionals on the very hard edge of that. Maybe some gold bling and I think this one's done. Some glue there where it's going to sit up on the other deckled rectangle. As I say, probably easiest card you've ever made, I should think. Just cut a few rectangles and pop them together and you're in. So I will put some bling on that one. I haven't got them out. Not being very good today. Here they are. They're just on top. My, my, um, my, uh, my, Embellishments need a bit of a clean up as well. Maybe that's where everything's hiding. Everything's hiding in the embellishment folder. That's what it is. That's the safe place where I can't find anything including embellishments. Okay, so I might do gold or the green would be nice too. Oh, let's do gold. Since we've got that beautiful distressed gold there. Come back, you. Oh. And another one. There we are. Okay, I'm going to pop a, another deckled deck, deck, deck rectangle inside for the sentiment, but for the personal message, but that's that's that one. So there we are. So um, someone's just said some twine. Yes, maybe the gold twine would be a nice touch. Yes, I sure have that somewhere. Anyway, that's all good. Maybe in and around and under that um, that sentiment or twisted around. 
there we are. But anyway, so that's um, another use of the, this. obviously this video is to highlight the deckled rectangles. You can add as much to your card as you, as you would like, of course. Um, but anyway, so there we are. Um, yeah, another one with the for highlighting the new dies that I've got. So we've got our masculine card there with a little sort of hinge mechanism with lots and lots of deckled rectangles. And then we've got these ones here where I've actually cut the rectangles down to, to create different shapes as well. So hopefully you like those. If you um, would like to uh, ask me any questions about this product, please reach out. Um, I can, um, as I say, we're going to be featuring this textured chic, chic um, bundle or suite in my next um, product class. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, anyway, have a great the rest of your week. It's Wednesday, what Wednesday morning here. So have a great week. Um, I will see you all again on um, Saturday morning local time for my usual Saturday morning crafting. Not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure um, it'll be something wonderful hopefully, if I can get inspired between now and then. But anyway, so great to see you all. Uh, have a great week and I will chat to you all 